How do we all feel about tan? And I ta I've been tanning my whole life. Ashen tan by Bear Paint isn't actually very tan at all, which makes sense being part of the neutral color family. It's really soft and muted. It has this wonderful quality to it that is inoffensive and versatile. And if inoffensive paint colors offend you, I don't know what else to tell you. I do have some fantastic news for you though. As a reward for clicking on this video, you're gonna learn all about this paint color. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna give you a complete color palette for your home that combines other muted paint colors mixed with some really beautiful saturated ones as well. Right before we begin, press that like button for me for smiles, good vibes. <laughs> so Ashen Tan as a paint color sits in a really great spot color-wise, it fits countless numbers of design styles, whether you're going for something really contemporary and modern and minimalist, or if you like something that is more traditional leaning, anything that's farmhouse, industrial, the list goes on and on and on, basically because of how neutral it is. It's definitely warmer leaning as a color, but doesn't have an overly strong dose of yellow like some other tan and beige based colors. And even though the Bear Paint website is pretty awesome, there can be some confusing aspects of it. When you click on the Ashen Tan profile, you can see a list of similar colors below it. And you do see a lot of these yellowy neutrals being compared to Ashen Tan. I do think that is a tad misleading, but not to say that there isn't a beige quality in this color. But what I also find is there's a touch of red to give it this slight taupe feeling or a bit of a gray brown combination. A traditional tan would be much more saturated and a lot more warm with more of that gold aspect in it. But much like ashen blonde hair, there is that gray quality mixed in that tones everything down, which could make it easier to use for some people. But then on the other side, it might make it feel a little uninspired as a color for others. One of my favorite things to talk about when it comes to critiquing and reviewing a paint color is the light reflectance value or LRV. And in this case, it's 60 out of 100, which is great. Anything that is around the 60 to 65% LRV range tends to be a pretty universally liked and appealing depth when it comes to paint colors for your walls. It just reflects the right amount of light. It's not overly obnoxious where it's gonna feel washed out and it's not too dark where the space you use it in might feel really dramatic and moody. So really, this is a great main color option for your color palette. So essentially the starting piece, the building block color that you can develop a palette off of, you can use it in those larger parts of your home, no problem. The thing is though, even though it's easy to use, be sure to test it out first so that you know the undertone works well in your space because that's what really counts. A lot of things look great on paper, but it's the practical aspect here that matters most. So please bring those swatches home, get testers, do all of that. You'll thank me later. But even though this is a color that you could just use throughout your whole home, I don't really recommend it because why not have a little fun with some color pairings? Color pairings that I've selected for you. We have three options here. The first one being Silver Shadow, also by Bear Paint, obviously. This color is a little bit lighter. It has a 64 LRV instead of 60. And I just classify it as a cool gray. Now, because it's gray, this is not something you want to use all over, maybe in just a select room or two. But what's great is the contrast it'll have with the warmer colors will make it feel a little closer to a really pale blue versus a plain old gray. It just gives you a nice, icy alternative that's on the same level, roughly speaking, depth wise to ash and tan. So it allows you to play with different levels, different vibes for the different spaces in your home because you don't want it all to be one note, kind of warm neutral. Have some cool neutrals mixed in as well. The next pairing is Metropolis, which is a deeper color. I would classify it as a darker mid-tone and it has an LRV of 41. So you could really see this as a deeper alternative to ash and tan specifically. And with all that added colorant in the can of paint, it gives it more of a heavy handed dose of saturation, namely coming from red, gray, and a bit of brown, almost to the point where you start to see a little bit of a mauve or a purple undertone. It's still very earthy and kind of like a stone brown gray, decently soft in its coloration too, so it will 
coexist with the rest of the neutral color family as well. Blueprint is the clear accent color here, and we got an LRV of 20. So we've really brought the darkness level down to 20% essentially. Pretty saturated with blue here, but what I like about it is there is that touch of green as well, which allows the color to teeter into teal territory, which has a lot of richness to it, which is gonna be great to play off the blue aspect and silver shadow and gently complement the other two warmer leaning paint colors in the palette, giving you some wonderful variety within this color scheme. Now that we have those main color pairings out of the way, we gotta talk about trim colors because your baseboards and your doors and your frames are really important to paint. And by picking the right color, it'll finish the project in a really great way. The first one is Crystal Cut, which is a super bright, 91 LRV clean white. It has a touch of warmth to it, and in practicality, it almost sparkles when you use it on the trim. For most people, I think that by going with a white trim like this, it's gonna do you just fine. It's the easy choice for a lot of people because it is a bit of a standard, I would say, in design even today. But for anyone that wants something a little more adventurous, maybe you wanna go for some dark trim, or even if you're going with that white trim, you want some dark doors, then I would recommend a color called Woodcraft, which has a 24 LRV, and it's kind of like the darker version of Metropolis, but with less of that red and purple. I would say it's a lot more straightforward feeling with this dark brown gray aspect that feels organic, but still neutral. I really love how this trim color works with the other ones in this palette. They all seem to have really unique interactions that are really, really fun. So here's the palette. Let me know what you think of this one. And we got more bear paint right over here, if you're interested. Of course you're interested, right? There's the microphone. <laughs>